do you have the million dollar man's boss? He's yeah. like, why do you have that? And he's like, it's Oscar Goldblum. It's worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, don't, don't take it out. Yeah. Because you, know, like, <laughs> you got to think of your dick as like one of these action figures. So you got to let it out. Play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Skibidi boop bop 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 Welcome to Watching Shit and Spoiling It Movie Reviews with your host, Hateful J, and this guy, motherfucker, Sugar, Sugar Shane. <laughs> Synchronized. What's good, man? Synchronized, bro. Let me turn the TV down. Um, happy Saturday, everybody. We are doing another Bong Joon Ho movie. Bong Joon Ho's. That's right. Bong Joon with them hoes. What? Uh, <laughs> it's a rap name. It should be. It's a Korean rap name. Um, we're doing Snowpiercer, guys. <laughs> also, uh, Captain America's in this. Um, what's the guy's name from Parasite? What's his name? Um, he's yeah, a dope ass actor. Yeah, he is. But, um, and, and like we were saying in that last one, they're obviously good friends because they they do. Yeah, you call him you call him the Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese. That's how of, I look uh, at it. Of, Wherever, wherever for sure, from. or Quentin Tarantino and Samuel Jackson, or like whoever you know, however you want to look, just those. That's duos, a dope you know? combo yeah, right there. Yeah. That's a dope ass yeah, combo. Um, this movie, bro, it's uh, it's fire. It can be explained in a lot of ways. We gonna call it the uh, the end of the world movie with the guy who had a toy train. It's Post apocalyptic. Yeah, the train is the is like the ark. Yeah, you know? there's so many Bible references in this movie. Yeah, bro, know? it's it's a lot going. on. But, and again, it's one of those movies you can keep watching. It doesn't get old. Yeah, just like Parasite. Yeah. So he figured out a formula for real. For yeah. Sure. We're going to get into this one, guys. Like you said, like we said, it's post-apocalyptic. Well, global warming was happening where things yeah. were getting hot. So the government uh, got this chemical. It was like CW7. I can't remember exactly what the chemical was. So I don't yeah, know if that's yeah. right. But they put it in these missiles and they shot it up into the atmosphere to try to cool everything down from the global warming. But right. it actually backfired and froze everything. Yeah, it was ugly. So then the train is basically Bad the Noah's Ark of, of like the apocalypse. He knew that the CW7, I'm just going to call it CW7 because that's just what's popping up. Did he know about it as a kid or at some point in time? No, he just like when when he got older and they talked about that, he knew it was going to freeze everything. So he was like, I need to like this engine. So he he tried to get all these investors into his engines. Yeah. Yeah. So he invented the the internal engine. Yeah. 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 like an engine that runs forever. And he needed the train to be, and so they had to build the track that goes around the world, and he needed the train to be able to sustain a perfect balance forever or whatever. And it had to always keep moving. Always. Um, in one circle. This yeah. is a super dope idea, yeah. really, you know, but... But it, like, and we'll get into it, but it was kind of disastrous. Like, the idea to me was fucking terrifying. Mm-hmm. I would never want to be on a train like this. But once this happens, people that survive, the people that's left, whatever, they pretty much live on this train forever. But just like in real life, there's fucking you classes. Got, you got to buy a ticket. You know what I mean? There's classes on the train. So we start our movie at the back of the train. And which is where most of the people who probably watch this movie are from. But most people are yeah. probably from, I would say majority of people are like mid, mid class. Mid train. You know? Yeah. I don't know. The middle of this train was middle. pretty fancy though. Well, yeah. I mean, I, it was super fancy. Shit went from like low class yeah, to, but, to rich real quick. But, uh, we do start at the back of the train. That's where we see you, man. Uh, what is it? Chris, what? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. I don't know. No names, but I told y'all fuck y'all names. Um, but it's Captain America. It's Captain America. It's Captain. Uh, <laughs> calling Captain America. See, when you done a role like that, nobody has right. to know your name. You just like Captain Thor. America forever. Couldn't help but do it last yeah, time. We kept going. Chris Hensworth, Thor. Hopper Tyler. was Hopper. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Movie going, bro. Yeah, you- bro, come on! Uh, Everybody had to buy a ticket to get on this train. Yeah, so the yeah. the more tickets, the higher your ticket was, was the place that you were set in your class for the rest of like, because that's because they're your restarting population, right? They're starting society over in this train. Yeah. So the ones in the tail are the ones that didn't pay for a ticket. They're yeah. the freeloaders. Yeah. Yeah. Last to get food, last to get anything. Um, but we start in the back. We start with, with your boy Chris Evans. Um, and he's in the middle of kind of like a red letter situation. Like, it's where he's getting like these mystery notes. You know what I mean? So we start with him literally, 
literally they counting yeah. everybody. They had everybody like everybody was standing mm-hmm. up, and then he was. They were counting lines. I guess it's a ritual they do, and everybody yeah. sat down except for Chris Evans because he was standing up, and you think he's just being rebellious. Yeah, but he's looking for yeah. the. They get food cues. What do they call them? They have protein blocks. Protein blocks. Um, and we'll get to what the fuck those are. The protein blocks is where he's getting these messages, these little metal capsules with letters in it. You know, pretty much like directions. You know what I mean? Like a, like a map to what what to do. There's a little boy. Timmy. Timmy. And the little boy is the son of another known actress. I don't know her name, but it's the chick from... Um, from Ma. From Ma. Shit, that movie dude. was trash. You know, moving on. Uh, we have we have Captain America, you know, trying to save the day and chase down a little kid for his protein block because his protein block has the next letter in it. I don't know how he knew that, though. Little kid ain't coming off of that shit, though. Mm. For some reason... Right. He wanted that protein block. They even offered him two for one. He ain't trying to do it. And at this point in the movie, you don't even know this shit. You're like, what the fuck, bro? Just eat what you got. Right. Like, what the fuck is going on? Well, I just thought he was just being like a stubborn little kid. Like, just yeah. a normal little yeah. kid. No. Yeah. You know? But they eventually get it. Um, and this He where said you, he'd give him the ball for an hour. Yeah. You know, that's where you see it's the letter. And he reads the letter. I don't know what the first letter said. Um, But it's part of the plan. They're already planning to try to get to the front of the train. The whole time you see him kind of like looking at the doors. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like watching the timing of the doors, you know, plotting the shit, mm-hmm. plotting the strategy. So then the girl with the yellow jacket comes in and they uh, they want to get some five-year-olds up, get some kids up so that she, you can see that she's measuring them. Yeah. And she takes little Timmy away and uh, and one of the guy's little red-headed kids. Yeah. And then he said, give me my son, you fucking bitch, and threw the shoe at her and it, you know, cracked her forehead. Yeah. What was the lady name, bro? This lady was so ugly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I think she stole the whole movie, bro. Tilda Swinton. She's uh, she's on Doctor Strange. She's on. No, she's a beast. Dude, yeah, she's on. Uh, she's a beast. Chronicles of Narnia. Like, she's. But she looks fucking like. The way she talks, everything, bro. It made me oh, laugh. Man. It made me laugh. Instantly. Me too. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's a fucking bitch, but she was like. Bro. Her monologue was the, like a awesome. shoe does not belong on your head. All I, that that's shit. what I was saying. I love yeah, that speech, bro. bro. She was a true, and I, I agree. Like she did, kind of steal the movie. Like her role kind of brought everything together. Everything, bro. Um, like her, her whole performance, I thought was like. I mean, she was like, like you. I believed her more than anybody. I felt like she was the the best of the whole movie. 100%. Yeah. But uh, he he, uh, he George bushes her with the shoe. Quick little Molly Wop, and. We get we get a little punishment. You can't just do that. You're the back of the fucking thing. You know what I mean? You're fucking with somebody that pretty much is like, you know, on on the administration of the train. Mm-hmm. And it's not like they have jail back then, like and on this train. Yeah, so, so you they, gotta get punished. They gotta punish you. Yeah. Um, the shoe thrower, sneak attack. He has to get punished, and his punishment is to lose an arm. So they open this fucking, you know, vacuum sealed door, which is dope contraption. Stick his fucking arm out, man. You the world. And they rubbed lotion on it. The world's so fucking frozen. His, arm, his arm's yeah. probably really cold too. Yeah. And they're um, saying at the atmosphere, seven seconds it would take, or seven minutes it would take. So you got the cold, you got the wind. You know what I mean? Like it magnifies everything. Stick his arm out, seal it off, and that bitch pretty much freezes solid. That was crazy. Even you can even hear it, like because there was the whistles of the wind. Yeah. And then, phew, just like sucks him in there. And then his the, that guy did a good job. I didn't like that spaceship. sound, bro. After a few minutes, this shit freezes. They bring it back in and sledgehammer that motherfucker. Bro. Uh, and that shit was frozen. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's a hell of a way to fucking take a limb off, bro. And it's a scary I would tactic rather too, do to that show that the get, weather is so bad. I would rather know? do that to get my shit sawed off. Yeah. I, I was thinking that too. I was like, I feel like when they smash it, it probably didn't hurt. You know? Because it's frozen yeah. and dead already. Yeah. You know? Your brain, but you know how the brain work. It probably definitely was like, that hurt. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, it, yeah, your the, brain was definitely telling you like, this hurts, nigga. Scream. Wow. Well, my dad has one leg, and yeah. it's called um, a ghost fracture. No. Or something like that. I can't I, because you feel like your leg, like he felt like his leg was still the there. And phantom pain. Yeah. Like, phantom pain. Right. Phantom yeah. pain. Thank yeah. you. That's what it is. Yeah. I knew it was ghost something. Yeah. Phantom yeah. Pain. Yeah. Thank that, you. Bro, you got God, I'm an idiot. You got the synonyms. <laughs> Shook Shane. Where we go next? She goes. She puts the shoe on his head while his hands freezing. What this, mm-hmm. during the seven minutes? And she was saying, "Does the shoe belong on your head? No, it belongs on the foot." Like, yeah. Which is where you all are. Yeah. You know, know your place. She goes, I belong on the hat. You belong on the foot. Yes, so it is. Like, yeah. you know, like yeah. dude, that shit was so funny. Yeah, she was dope. But the whole monologue, the whole thing that she was saying, like, was super good. Like, I love that dialogue is great. Yeah. But that was, sums it up right there. Hell yeah. You know, uh, Gilliam was coming up during uh, during her speech or whatever, and he's got a missing arm and missing leg. So you know he's been through some shit if yeah. he's missing some parts. Oh, yeah. You know, and then uh, she goes, put that useless gun down. And you don't think of anything when she says that at the time or whatever. But then she goes through her monologue. So then they go back to planning out shit, and he was, and Chris. Seven says that you know I think they don't she was saying that 
the guns are useless because they don't have bullets. I think bullets are yeah. extinct, you yeah. know? And then you see them, like, they did a, like, a little bit of a montage of them thinking of it, and they're going through, and uh, he looks at the the, uh, the magazine, and he doesn't see bullets in there. So he really starts to think that that's true. Right. You can tell that Chris Evans, Captain America. You're Captain America. You're fucking Captain America. You will never be anyone else but Captain America. Right. You Facts. saw Thor last week. Facts. Motherfucker. Before he was the Human Torch. And like all these other, Man, and not another team the, movie. Trash. Though. That's, that's what I used to think of him. Like when, like when I first saw him, it was in not another team movie. And now, now he's Captain America. You're the captain, shit. my guy. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you already had a plan established. He's like, we we coming in like the final stage of the plan, like the plan about to go into action. Mm -hmm. So they they fucking fastened all these barrels together, um, tied them cool. together, made like this long fucking literally damn near the length of their. What do you call their Just a few their trailers. Just yeah. a few aisleways. Yeah. Enough to get them get yeah, in there. To keep some doors open and yeah, shit. Right. Um so they're all standing up, getting ready. Uh, as soon as they're doing that, somebody comes back, comes in, I'm pretty sure. Uh they're coming back to do another count, the soldiers. Mm -hmm. They're all like standing up, and this big ass barrel is right there in the middle. So they pretty much, you know what I mean? They're gonna see it. Mm -hmm. So like the first row of people kind of like crowds together and try to hide it. Well, they all we start screaming now. on purpose. They're yeah. like, we need like we're tired of this protein block trying to bullshit. distract them. Yeah, yeah. They, were they were doing to, account for yeah. food. Yeah, they were trying to start a riot on purpose. Get it, get everything off of it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, shit ensues. Guards get suspicious, and they go. They make they move. They push the barrel. I love the scene. Well, Chris Evans does it, it first. He's dope. the leader of it. Yeah. That was so dope, dude. Especially your first watch when you yeah. see that. Yeah, and that's when you put the gun up to his head and shit, and they have no bullets. Go or whatever, mm -hmm. and. It was dope how he jumped on top of the barrels. They was pushing it. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabe or what was the little dude name? Um, his his little homie. I forget. But whatever his little homie, his little lieutenant, little sidekick, hopped out the barrel. They get in there, get busy, start whooping his some ass. Edgar. Edgar. They get in there, get busy, start whooping some ass. When they're like scientists and shit or like guards, but there's this one big fucking. Oh, they had a big. The big tank dude, yeah. he was whooping ass. Yeah, it reminds me of And it. that's where uh, Gilly was like, what was the dude named, bro? Little Puerto Rican ninja. You know what I mean? Gilly was like, go. <laughs> took he off his jacket. He's took got off his jacket, prison bro. tattoos on. You know what I mean? Prison little lines. It was like the anime Death Stare in like movie form. Yeah, you know that mean? was cool. He took the jacket off, hopped on top of the barrels, that's ran up. cinematography, bro. Jumped on top of him, bro. Just dude, the camera followed him the whole way in the tunnel with that intense like fire. Do, 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 do. As fire, he, dude. I love that scene. Fire. You were just zoned in in that whole scene. Yeah, bro. But he got up there, sliced him across his heart, put him, like, put him to sleep. Like, yeah, bro, that bro. shit was dope. <laughs> put him to sleep. And that was my favorite character. Once I saw it, I'm like, yep. yep. Here's a bad mouth. Y'all got a Goku? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> they got a Tony Jaw on the train? Like, oh, bro, dude. Like, let's go. Why that, he ain't training everybody one. to do this parkour ninja right. shit, man? Jackie yeah. Chaney. Uh, anywho. So where we go from there? They uh, they realize they need to take over. If they could take over the water, the water is like close by. Yeah, good says. Well, no, no. First, they need to go wake up that dude because he can open the doors. They need to go wake up the, the, oh, yeah, the yeah. Korean dude. It's It's... Okay, we gotta figure out his name. Boom Jones, us uh, Nam. Uh, his yeah, name is Nam. He sang his Kang Hong song in real life. Kang yeah, his Hong, name Kang, is Nam in in the movie. You're right. Kang Hong song. If you don't know what it is, he's you've seen him. We've all seen him and shit. Um, his name's Nam. But I like how the movie they kept calling him Nam and Nam. Yeah. Captain America, he was like Nam, Nam. Nam. Yeah. In right. one breath, like why'd you say it different? So yeah, so they go to get him out of that drawer. I wish they would explain that drawer. Like, are they you just all like you're just asleep all the time when you're in those drawers? Yeah, I don't and it's know. It's like a prison, maybe. Like you're too reckless. We put you in this drawer and you yeah. stay asleep until we wake you up. I guess. Yeah, because it was locked and everything else. Like that's true. That's yeah, weird, because right? he, when he cut the guard across the heart, he took the keys off of him. Real gently, right. and player like. Yeah, so it, I guess it is like a prison then, and I guess there is a jail. I never yeah. looked at it like that. I was always confused by that. Yeah, so they go to get him because. We discovered that he's he was the head security officer of the train. He pretty much knows all the doors, how to open them, how to like bypass all the security and shit. So they need him to get to the front of the train. And that that was they only had too. enough barrel to get out of the the, the tail end. Mm -hmm. um, but that's where you see how futuristic they are with the translation shit that they were doing because he speaks yeah, Korean. Yeah. And then and then he pulled out the cigarette. Uh, to kind of find out he's a chrono addict. Chrono is their is industrial waste. It's like their drug. So they need this guy. They wake him up. They tell him he got, they got chrono or whatever. He, he finally kind of complies. He's like, are you listening? Can you hear me? He's like, yes, I'm listening. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know, to the translator. Um, was dope. His character. It's like I'm fucking sleeping. His character was dope from the beginning. Right. You know what I mean? He played it so well. But his daughter's also in one of these drawers. You know, the daughter got to come, of course. You ain't going to leave your daughter behind. I liked her, too. Um, he reluctantly agrees. Um, 
under the circumstances of each door you open, you get a lump of chrono. You know he what said I mean? two lumps. Two lumps? Was yeah, two lumps? because for him and his daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He pulled a, like a little... Oh, yeah, cigarette. It, it looks like a flask, because it was one of those little old-school metal packs, and he opened it, and he had two cigarettes in there. And they're yeah. like, marble light? And they're like, yeah. they're, and they're like, the cigarette's been extinct for 10 years. And then yeah. he like lights it up, and like he just makes it look like the most satisfying cigarette. Oh. But then he flicked that shit, and everybody, like when he was talking, and everybody jumped at it like food. And I just think that's, that's just a crazy thought. Like, I never would have... Th- like it's, I feel yeah, like old so girl true. was like Marlboro Lights. Like, yeah, like, but but he for he was just like he flicked it. Everybody jumps to it. Like mm-hmm. it was like you know what I'm saying. Like and I feel like I'd never thought of that. Like back like in the apocalypse, if everybody would really want a cigarette that bad, you know, Hell but yeah. you would though. But I never and like you thought stressed of that. and yeah. you can't get none. He was already a smoker. Hell, right, right. Yeah, he only had like three left, maybe two. Two. Right? We had two left. Yeah. So yeah, he agrees to go, and we start with him. He's pretty much the whole time. He knows the fucking train, so he's removing a panel and. And, Pretty and much the, hot wiring And the, the doors. daughter For some reason Knows that there, If there's something Behind the door She goes It's clear yeah. Chrono And then they open the door All right, so, so she chooses If it's clear or not So next trailer to train What's the next trailer um, so, The food trailer Well yeah That's what Yeah that's right That's the next yeah. one So she said Somebody's running And yeah. they open the door And then it's the There's one of their homies Like he was in there And he's yeah. like sprinting And you see him Jump on some platform And then jump like jump up to the ceiling and grab like a Trying wheel. Trying to turn like a wheel. Yeah, and then he's like, he's so zoned in to working, he's like brainwashed into his work, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, he's, where he's, he's explaining he's, it He's too. a little, yeah, he's, yeah, little, he's, he's a little gone. loose on the They even said that he looks different, apparently. They don't care what the fuck he's doing. They're just pretty much trying to get to where they're going. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? Because the whole time he's talking yeah, they're like, to him, come with us. We're he's not responding. Yeah, he's yeah, like, like oh, you I'm, said, he was zoned He's like, no, my place is here. Like, I'm working. Yeah, he's like responding, but not. It's weird. I had to bring up this character. The little dude that was drawing stuff. Yeah, he would draw memories. He drew the kids of he the, had their the two people that got their kids too. took. Yeah, he, he pretty a much kept. Of it. Yeah, he pretty much fouled everything like mm-hmm. with art, and it was dope. So he ventures to the back of the food car into where the protein bars are being made, and he's the first one to look in. And right as he's doing that, it's fresh ones coming out, nice and warm, and everybody's like, "Ooh, they're still warm." Eating it like you were starving. Smash. Think about how hungry they are, too. Yeah. And you're getting these fresh, hot ones, you know? Yeah. Right. So they're eating it like that. <laughs> he takes a peek in there, bro, and it's... Well, well then Chris, well, he hear, Chris Evans watches him gasp. So yeah. he's like, all right, let me go. And look. it's fucking ground up just bugs. Cockroaches. Cockroaches and shit. That's disgusting. So yeah, we found out that they've been eating fucking chopped up bugs like the whole bug bro just ground up this shit's disgusting um, so they realize they need to go to get they need to get the water if they can control the water they can control the train as well and get to the engine yep yep so so what happens is and then they go to open the door and uh, right the, before the girl, right as he opens she, it yeah she was like no you know don't open then, that shit and like you say it's crazy 88 when that fucking door open bro like a bunch of fucking viking modern day viking motherfuckers and they're smiling too and the look on these niggas faces of the tail end people faces is like okay uh, Captain America still got his game face on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these are, like I said, these are Viking warriors. And we talked about before the show why they did it. They did a ritualistic. They was waiting for this. I'm sure they knew they was coming. They're mm-hmm. like, you can tell these motherfuckers are bred to fight, but how often do they fight? They probably fight each other. Right. You know what I mean? Like bare knuckle or right. some shit. Not with axes. Yeah, not with, not with axes at all. Yeah. Like straight bare knuckle they got to. So they pull out the big fish. You know what I mean? And... This kind of gave me a few vibes. I feel like they're flexing too. Like, yeah, yeah we got that's fish. what I'm about to say. Yeah, like, yeah. we got fish and we ain't even eating this one. Yeah. We're going to cut it open and, you know what I mean, rub some blood and pass it around. Like, they were warriors, bro. They were, right. they're made to fucking fight. The tail end just steps up to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's some fighting, some fighting. Um, At some point, it gets interrupted by you, t- you tell the lady, Big big Teeth, Big Mason. Tooth, Buck Tooth. Her name's Mason. Her name's Buck Tooth. <laughs> She's Buck Tooth. Uh, lady Buck Tooth comes in. It's and pretty then, much like, but she goes with what I was saying too. She's like, she was, she went back to blaming them. She's saying that they're the scum of everything, and like everything is all their fault and stuff. And but like it's, but it, but it, honestly, it's not. They're trying to survive, so they're fighting. So yeah, but like know. she did a good job of trying to make the points she was trying to make. Oh, like uh, yeah, of knowing your place yeah. and shit. And she's saying that everything has to be controlled in there. And yeah. it like has to be controlled while she was like yelling at them though. So know? we can survive and shit. So, so Chris Evans after they, they fought for a minute, Chris Evans uh sees an opportunity to go get Bucktooth, Mason. And uh he, Lady Bucktooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well he gets stopped because he turns around and his dude is uh, you know, one of the bad guys has a knife to his his little buddy, his sidekick's throat or whatever. So he basically be better not go kill her or I'm gonna kill him. And then he decides to sacrifice his friend to go get her because oh, like, he has yeah. to get her. He Did that happen? To. I thought that happened after the tunnel. Um, I don't know. I because I thought that 
Maybe, maybe I don't you're know. right. But because she says 78 percent of you will die, and I thought that that was okay. So maybe yeah, you're right. It was after the tunnel because she says seventy eight percent of you will die, and then the tunnel comes. So okay. that was my fault. Yeah, so no, you know you good. But right right before the tunnel, bro. That's when uh, I love this part because the dad, what's his name, all, Nam, Nam. He you showed started, that little clip in the last episode. He started saying <laughs> some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started saying some shit. And the daughter translated was like, you're all fucked. And, uh, cause he, and then she was like, there's a tunnel up ahead. A really fucking long one. And it's exact words. A really fucking long Viking one. These Viking warriors, spandex dominatrix motherfuckers pulled down night vision goggles, my yeah. dude. Where did they pull those out from? I don't know, dog. Like, was they just on the back of their head the like, whole time? Like, and then she had one of those, like... like what, how many of them motherfuckers you think it was? Uh, There's probably like 50 to 60. Uh, but yeah, they're fighting, they're fighting. That's when it gets to the part where you're talking about where he caught her in the fucking back or the leg with the axe. And that was Ninja Dude, right? Mm-hmm. Ninja Man. Um, Chris Evans leaves this boy behind. Uh, he This boy tries to get some but ends up getting stabbed in the fucking back anyway. Yeah. Um, Knew it was going to happen from the beginning. Like, he's going to die at yeah, some point. It's like yeah. one of those things you, you know. And his whole happen. story's fucked up. We'll get to that. Um... But they pretty much get old girl, and she's pretty much their fucking hostage mm-hmm. the rest of the way through. Yeah. He was about to kill her, and she like you know, in like any situation, like show me, like why would I keep you? And she goes, she goes, I can get you to the engine safe, yeah. but if you do, you have to kill him. Yeah. And I didn't get that scene too when she pulls her teeth out. Did you get that? Like why she did that? Like I, I think that was, and I don't, I'm, I, I'm not thinking of the right word. I know, but I think it was kind of symbolism for like, I'm like you maybe. I'm open, like. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, this is me. This is the real me. I'm like, ugly. Here you go. What's the next car? Is it the school? That's right. the school. She said, can this we, can we unlock me before part, we go into this This one? is the best part of the movie. That's my favorite part of Can the you movie. please look up Old Girl Play the Teacher? Yeah. yeah. Why are you looking up and break it down? So we go her to name the, is Allison Pill. Allison and they just Pill. have her labeled as teacher. So we go into the school part. It's kids. It's a teacher sitting on a piano. Dope-ass little rotating piano thing. Um, And it's literally like a fucking PBS show. They're singing about Wilford. They're talking about Wilford, the history of the train. And we discovered that it's the new year, the 18th year of the train existence. It's the, it's the train's new year. Yeah. They see him sing the song about Wilford. She's all like, what do you say to the tail end, tail end people, children? Hi, tail end. Hi, tail end. It was literally like the hokiest. You know what I mean? It was almost like, it, but that, that's like, you're like, dude, this shit is like a cult. Like, Bro, just from I, the teaching. This is my favorite scene in the movie. Oh, mine too. This she was showing scene. the history is all about Wilford. Wilford. And the train. She played the little video. Yeah, that teacher was, she was perfect. She was the, norm, the, the normal, like, old school corny ass teacher yeah. in, the, in the schoolhouse type of And it of makes shit, sense. You, know? you said she was in Disney movies. Like, she, that was easy for her. Mm-hmm. Like, it was when easy she was for a kid, her to do that. Right. Yeah. Like, that's how she grew up mm-hmm. doing that shit on TV. Like, when she was um, singing the song on the piano and her, she, her eyes were rolling behind her head when she yeah. was singing, they were singing the song about Wilford. And I like that part too because then the Mason bitch was singing that song too. And it was the dumbest song ever. She, and it, like it ended with Wilford. She goes, I love that one. It's it catchy. was so yeah, cheesy. Yeah, so cheesy. Uh, but you know, all that's happening. <laughs> and that's when she calls everybody to the window to look out at the seven. There was a, there was a previous revolt. Seven, seven, I don't know how many years ago, but it was the, the the Revolt, Revolt of the Seven. seven. Revolt of the Seven. Yeah. That's what it was. And they tried to get away at some point. I love that. It's like history and you things. Could, like you could revolution. see him like frozen on the hill. And she calls him on. like, look, children, this is blah, 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 blah. See how pissed she looked too? Like, yeah. like and a that's legitimate when she, cult. Like, that's when she know? start throwing like little disses, little yeah. sneak disses in. She looked mad, like everything. Yeah. Like she hated them. Like why uh, hate them though? They wanted to go out there. Like that's, that's a big when, deal. Uh, yeah. You know? So after that, a uh, little bit after that, Egghead with a barrel full of eggs, a wheelbarrow full of eggs comes through. Well, you forgot what they are saying. She says, remember children, if we leave the train, we all we, freeze and die. And then we it's like, all freeze and die. And they're going like this. It's a cult. Like, you know, they're training yeah. the kids. Like, and, and then, but that part is crazy because the dad is showing the daughter, he goes, look down there and it's an airplane that he used to see. And you can see the airplane. So it's showing that the ice is melting, you know? And then, um, we all freeze yeah. and die. But she, what's, what's crazy about that is she's telling the kids that we'll all freeze and die, but really like you might not freeze and die but they use that as the, those people that did freeze back in the day mm-hmm. as a thing to keep you in there just to, like to keep everybody trapped in this prison scare you know? tactics yeah. uh, but we got the egg wheelbarrow egg they get an egg every new year so the guy comes through with the eggs passing out eggs to everybody they're fucking excited uh, Lady Buck too she's like oh, God, I would have been excited she didn't, she didn't want an egg yeah, yeah, no, yeah but I love it exactly right I love it so two things are happening right now they're getting eggs Captain America gets an egg with a hole in it there's a letter in that egg and they're they obviously planned out to give that to him. Didn't he get one in the food car too? Uh yeah. He got one in the food, food car. car. 
What, what, uh, where, they made, where they made the protein oh, bars. Yeah, 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 he got one right. there too. Because oh. he said, where did you get this? Yeah. And he was like, I don't know. They just give them to you, man. Like, <laughs> Jim Brewer ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> but so as dude passes the train, he gets, you know, further in the train. And I love this. Um, mind you, bullets were extinct. So the drawer guy was like, eggs? What? Do you remember what the note said? I thought chickens were extinct. No, I don't. Oh, blood. blood. Yeah. So at the same time, the violin guy, you see that As I said, two yeah. things are happening. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, they called so their friend the in with the violin. He's playing the violin. It's the New Year's celebration. And uh, the drawing dude asked him, he was like, I thought chickens were extinct. And, you know, he go back, he sees blood. And he looks like Hitman, and he, too. And he goes back. He's yeah. bald. He's like, obviously. I hated that dude. Yeah. Bro, he was bro. just like I'm one of the, he's creepy. He's like bald. one of those creepy, bald. Yes, master. He had, like, he had the dudes. fucking pedal face, you piece of he shit. He looked like dude from uh, from Logan, the one who was uh, he was allergic to the sun. They go right back to the chicken egg guy, and he's like, "There's a lot of things that aren't extinct or are still around that you didn't know about, or some shit." And he said rumors that everybody thought were extinct. Yeah, he and, goes uh, like, "What?" <laughs> and we go back to Captain America. He has like a reaction or something, kind of like to where he's like, "Fuck." Yeah, and then go back to Victor Zaz. Gotham. That's what he looks, looks like him too. This nigga's everybody that's bought. And he just blasting everybody. You know what I mean? And it's that was and? that part kind of fucked me up, bro. Cause Yeah, dude. They yeah. were helpless. Yeah. And it was him. We're it expecting. wasn't it wasn't just the egg guy, it was him with like five guards. Right. And they all whipped out. They were I just expecting not eggs. handguns, nigga. Like yeah, they were like Uzis or technology. No, nah, they were or like a fucking MP5s and AR-15. Well, and the shit. teacher. Well, and then the teacher. The teacher had to tech though. Yeah, she had to tech that. She is. pulled out a fucking gun, start blasting them. In she the class. killed the dude with the uh, with that was missing his arm. He lost his arm in the beginning. Shot. Yeah. He, he killed. She killed him first. Shot him straight in the head, and then just starts like you know. Yeah, this scene was better than the uh, the Viking fight for sure. Like just because shit, it was intense. You knew something they, was going to happen. It was interesting, too, because you're learning a lot about the train. You're, like, understanding the movie a little bit more at that yeah. point. And then it just flipped into that. You weren't expecting that to happen. Yeah, because they kind of brought you, you into know? it with this happy classroom, right. hokey kids, right. cheesy shit. Definitely wasn't expecting the teacher it, to pull out guns. Then like it just slowly up. progressed into, like, damn, seven people froze. Like, you know what I mean? All this, like, shit you got to pay attention to, little little hidden shit. And then it's just everybody get blasted. Mm-hmm. And that was so fire. You think, oh, so the fucking ninja dude they're sitting there chilling and chris evans gives ninja dude just like a nod like you know like go ahead and then he gets up and throws a knife right in her neck and the teacher's neck stops her from shooting mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that was a dope throw it looked awesome um, and then uh, then they pull out the tv it's like a camera a surveillance camera yeah so then yeah so they well i have to say on the security camera they pull it out and they show um gilliam getting getting shot in the head you know like execution type so then he runs over to yeah, Mason. By, by one of the henchmen. And it, right. It's two, it's two main henchmen, too. It's slick back, another slick back, and it's receding guy. Gilliam dies, gets murdered on camera. So then she, so Chris Evans kills Mason because yeah, they killed Gilliam. Gilliam was like a father to him and shit. Um, and we oh, and we also one of the carts that we missed. They go through the. Uh, it looks like um, looks like the aquarium. So that's what through, I was wondering yeah. about. Yeah, we missed that. Because that's part. what I was about to get to. Because and that part was cool. That's what I was wondering if it was before the school because that because that's where she goes. You guys want some sushi? Yeah. So that's like one yeah. of the first carts they go is this ecosystem. Yeah. And yeah, and that was fire. And that's what I was wondering if they even knew about anything. I don't think anybody in the town knew like, about any of that. Knew stuff. about fish or even seeing fish. You know what I'm saying? Like. Well, I think that's why they show the train baby go through the, the little, just like the aquarium where you walk through and there's fish everywhere. And her just her reaction of seeing it, I feel yeah. like she was like, what the hell? Yeah, like, they, I, I love that. And let's, let's run through those other cars. And they're going so through they, the garden, too. He puts yeah, dirt, the, gar- the garden yeah. car. He goes, he puts dirt in her hand. He goes, you wouldn't know this because you're a train baby, but this is what I used to walk on yeah. before this. And there's worms. And she goes, what is that? Like, you yeah, know, they won't she, let she's it, never felt dirt before. It was one of those cars where he's like, don't eat that. Like, they're, they're, fine, like, they're fine. They're friendly. Yeah. What other cars we got? We had the uh, sauna. The yeah. spa car. Yeah, then you're starting to see like the... the all these oh, people. Yeah, you see, yeah, the That's where he's getting a little more rich. Right. Yeah. Uh, They're pampered. They have no idea probably what other stuff is going on. They're just yeah. living their life. It's so they go to the nightclub car. car. Everybody's okay. like fucking faded. Faded. Nightclub car was fire. Yeah. Like I would have been in that bitch. Yeah. That's where I would have been. That was cool. And uh, everybody's getting... I would have been in an aquarium the car too. Yeah, me too. For sure. All just day. to look at that all the time. It was like... Have you ever been in any like... Uh, I'd like to look outside too. Any there's a Newport windows. Aquarium everywhere, but I can't think of what they call it. But we have Newport Aquarium. If you go to Tennessee, it's like the Ripley's Aquarium. But every aquarium has like the dome aquarium where you like walk through a tunnel. That's how this mm-hmm. was. It wasn't just some side shit. It was like... It was all around. And that's fire, probably man. how they would do it if you were making an ecosystem on yeah. a train. You'd have to. So you can make people still be able to walk through it and yeah. that space, you know. So obviously every train is an ecosystem. Other trains are entertainment, relaxation. Oh, we right did on. have the steam room. 
The steam room. That's where the other fight happens. Okay. So we got the steam room because remember, the one bad guy catches up. Oh yeah, yeah. The, like, the yellow guy. steam room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yellow steam room. That, that was like near the club area because they're yeah. going through the club stuff. Because it I was like know. in between the club yeah. and the. Because like they're at the club right now, actually. Yeah. Um, but um. But yeah, so they're going through and they they fight the hit the hitman guy. Yeah, the hitman. He, he comes through. He's chasing them. Like, and he looks like a just like a fucking alcoholic but dude you who doesn't see, do shit. But you can see he had that like, I want to kick your ass like type. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Vibe. He was just like the same look every time. He doesn't have a line throughout the whole movie. Like he took a lot of punishment. Steven I, Seagal. He got his him. ass whooped in the first in the first fight oh, yeah. he with did. the Vikings. And we, I kind of thought he was finished, but he wasn't. Um, so he catches up. Everybody's fighting. This is where the girl you don't feel too good about the girl and mom. So we in the sauna. I don't remember too much, but. I know it's a fight. I know the ninja dude fights. She gets that stabbed dude. Too, she like, gets stabbed. Yeah. She's the last one to die. But Goku gets murdered. He's fighting the dude. That part with the was knife. dope. She because he beats Captain America's yeah. ass. Bro. Yeah, he got he got like, knocked he out. He slept. Him. That part was cool. The choreography was cool. But the part that was crazy about that is the hitman guy was about to kill Chris Evans and Goku. Dude, Goku stepped put in. his hand right in front of his and neck. Caught that bitch. Got it. Yeah, yeah and they and both, they there, both knocked out next to each other. So he of. risked his hand to save him. He's, he knew he was important. Like you know, he's their leader, even though he didn't want to be. And he, that's when he took that shit out, bro. Got on top bro, of him and just stabbed him still with it in his hand still, bro. bro that, that was that I was, was dope. pissed. I know. I love when they do I shit like was, that in movies. Yeah, that, that was dope. that was dope. But you knew he was on that. The hitman's looking throughout the steam room. He opens up one of the stalls. It looks like a porta potty almost, but there's a fat girl in there and she says something in some language. Says, "Shut the door, jerk." Why and, are you always so rude to women, bro? Last episode you said, "Bitch." You said Sorry, I'm not trying to say. If he was a fat guy, I would have said "fat guy" in there. I'm trying to explain the movie in the perfect way. She was a fat girl. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. He, but he, the hitman guy. She was heavy set, big boned, it. <laughs> extra thick. So the hitman knows that the girl was in there, so he goes to grab the little girl from behind the the girl, the the fat woman. Yeah. And then the the dad finally, that's where he comes out, and he like grabs his hand and he starts whooping his ass, bro. That's where you yeah. know that, that that's where you learn that he's a badass. Starts beating up the hitman, yeah. and then um, and this is how you know he's a real badass. The girl, the daughter grabs the machete off the ground and goes to stab him and he grabs his daughter's hand so tight that she started screaming so obviously he like yeah. squeezed her really hard while he's holding the hitman down yep. at the same time because he's not he doesn't want his daughter to kill him yeah. and then she drops the machete and then Chris Evans does it for her yeah so after that that's when they, they go through the nightclub they get into the nightclub after the nightclub is the final car before the engine it was yep. like it was like a part yep. of the engine like the, maybe like the cooling part right. or something weird shit we get here and this is it's where like Mike you, Myers they get to the door um Trying to figure out how to get through the door. And that's where you get Chris Evans, you know, the only part of his story. Because you don't know shit about him. Yeah. You don't know shit about him. Captain America, my bad. You just Call- know he's a caring person. Um, and you like him throughout the whole movie. He's the leader. He's the protagonist. And this know. and this is where you kind of get the story. Well, you asked him to open the now door. Now I won't open the door. Yeah. yeah. He's and like, then, I don't uh, want to open the gate. He- and then they get into a fight, fist fight, punching each other in the nose. Yeah. And when they're on the ground, you know, dude throws him his last cigarette. He lights a cigarette, takes one hit, and then starts talking about, he said, um, um, do you know what it's like being on the back of the train? What it was like when we first got in there, you know? Yeah. I'll go through it quick. But yeah. he says that we all were rushed in. It sounded like the Holocaust. We were all yeah. rushed in there, piled into the back of this train, not, not knowing what's going on. We're all stuck. Have no, Nothing to eat. Yeah, we're crammed. Yeah, good months go by. Everybody starts getting hungry. And, and uh, he's like, you know what I hate about myself is that I know what people taste like. Cannibalism! Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he's like, and the worst is I know babies, babies taste, taste better. Babies taste better. Bro, that's a crazy line to say, man. Yeah, bro. But you had Gilliam's story, too. That's when he goes to talk like... um. He gets in his story and Gilliam's story as we tell the story, the story about uh the people in the yeah, back so of the, the train got so hungry that they they killed they a attacked the mom and took her baby it was about the fucking Captain America was the one that did it. He was, he killed the mom. You know what I'm saying? That's when he said Gilliam stepped in and at this time he's just telling the story about a man. Right. You know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't telling Nam or Nam who it is. Yeah, just a regular guy just, just like him trying you know to adapt I mean? in this train as well, and you know. We told y'all in the beginning that Gilliam didn't have an arm and a leg. Um but to say the baby, he fucking cut off his arm and said, if you're, really, if you're so hungry, eat this. You know what I mean? <sighs> but, you know, and he said after a while, other people start donating their body parts and shit. So he tells him that. Chris and, Evans uh, couldn't do it, though. Because remember, they yeah. have a conversation. He goes, I can't be a leader because I have both my arms. Yeah, he was like, and, well, you know. And then finally tells him that Gillian was the dude that did it and tells them that he was the one that killed the mom and pretty much led them niggas to be savage. And, and that's in the, yeah, and then they got the protein blocks. Yeah, and then they were cool. Ever and they since. were cool after them. And the whole time, Nam, because like Nam wanted to open a different door. You know what I mean? That's how it started. Nam didn't want to open the gate into the engine. He wanted to open the gate to the outside. And that's where he told Chris Evans, like, 
in the botanical car, he saw a different type of snow. You right, know what I mean? Right. That's where he knew like things he, things were changing. Right. So um, that's really important. So he goes, you know why we've been taking Chrono? It's like it's not just to get high. And he goes, it's a bomb, dumbass. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to fucking blow up the and fucking door. It's a door. big ass thing of Chrono, and he puts a wick into it. I want to know where he got that wick from. But in the middle of that, before Terminator comes back, there's another lady, the first lady, yellow suit lady, who came in the beginning to get the kids. She comes out and pops Nam. You know, I guess somewhere in the shoulder because yeah. he ain't really faced. And the kid was laying down, so she probably didn't even acknowledge her. She yeah. was like taking, she yeah. was resting. Pulls the gun on Chris Evans, like, you know, Williford, you know, he's expecting he wants to meet with you. Like, pretty much he wants to have a parlay. The daughter woke up and woke Nam up with some chrono. Got him up. Terminator comes in. They end up fighting. You know what I mean? He just got shot, but he's still, he's mm-hmm. still holding and him And they off. were fighting a gang of people, too. He's like smacking people yeah. off and shit. Yeah, yeah. People in the club yeah. like, come on, man, move. They fucked up. Don't yeah. know why. Because they were mad that he took his chrono. They took their chrono. Yeah, so, he, so they just pissed at everybody. Yeah, right. they, I want like, my drugs. Like, the day, I feel like they should have known him. Like, he's, you know what I mean? Higher up. But anyway. So let's go to Chris Evans in there. Meeting Wilford. Meets Will, 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 Willard. And you know, it's the same guy who is in the Truman Show, who yeah. basically got in the Truman Show. He's he got always plays like this powerful. I just think that's funny. He always plays like this powerful in charge of everything. So it's him or Morgan Freeman. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, this is where like the story kind of unravels, bro. Wolfer's whole talk, he's pretty much talking to Captain America all the time. And while like he's a, cooking steak. Like a son. Yeah, cooking a steak. He's like medium rare. Which means he had, they have cow on there. Bro! bro! And Chris Evans is just really like, man, fuck you, He's dog. like, hey, you know, you've, uh, he's like, you're the only person to ever walk from the tail to the head. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. He's like, like Maybe like maybe everybody has a thing. Maybe those other motherfuckers don't come to the back end, like the security dude. Right. You stay in your. You stay, you maybe keep he your was place. in there with the Vikings the whole right. time or some shit. You well, know you what keep saying? your place, but obviously, and he said, and they said a dope thing too. He goes, everybody needs to keep their place because that's what someone in the best situation says to the people in the worst situations. Because yeah. it's true though. He's like, keep your place. If you're in the back of the train, who nobody wants to live there. He goes, yeah. but you. He's like, why haven't you come back there? Too dirty, you know. Like, because yeah. Wilford said he'd never been back there before. Yeah, and it, this you whole know? this whole say like this whole conversation is pretty much. <clears throat> He's trying to be on his level, and he's also giving them stories about himself and other shit. But like you said, he was like, it's lonely up here. You don't think I have my problems up here? It's lonely. You know what's funny? Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Like, nigga, look at your stainless steel you, you, stove. Shut up. You got fucking crystal globes and like right. books and like... It's sexy up there. Like you got a nice room, my right. nigga. But you know, Gilliam told him when, he, if, when you see Wilford, don't let him talk. Cut yeah. out his tongue. They finally sit down, bro. They make a mistake and kind of fucks... Captain America up almost brings him to tears because apparently this revolution, the revolution before... It was all planned. Willa Whittle and Gilliam are friends. Gilliam decided to run the back of the train mm-hmm. to help keep order. So It's that organization that they said that throughout the whole movie is that, yeah. that proper balance. Yeah. You, know, you got you to gotta eliminate people. So you he, was, he was this like co-leader of right. shit. It was Gilliam's plan. This revolution was Gilliam's plan. He conditioned Curtis... Captain America, but it, it was to fucking do this shit. But it was like, from the same from the beginning, even when he cut his arm off yeah. from before they got on the train. Probably it was a whole plan. You know? Captain America falls apart. Um, he doesn't believe him though, obviously, because Gilliam he that was like his father. Nah, but figure. he he did after he started saying it was like two things he said. He was like, oh fuck. Well, then he proved it more with the phone call. You know, yeah, the phone call. Yeah. yeah. Nam is still fighting. Nam's daughter is. What did she do? What happened to Yellow Suit Lady, bro? All right. Well, she's still in. And what she's was in Nam, the room. What was Nam's daughter doing while he was fighting to do? Um, and she was he, she was messing with the cables. He was to explain to her the wires so she can open up the okay. front door. So okay. that's what she's doing while he's telling her and he's fighting and telling her stuff. Yeah. And then the yellow the yellow girl, whatever the Twinkie looking girl. What happens to her? Uh, she's in the room with them because he gets up to go hit Wilfred and she shoots in there and he goes, "Hey, mind the engine." Yeah, yeah. You know, he, she's been delicate lately. Which bro? Life. Yeah, mind the engine, dumbass bitch. Why would yeah. she? Why would? Why would yeah, you? she just shot that gun in there and it probably ricocheted everywhere. So that was like, annoying. why would you do that? Yeah, that was. And why would you shoot in there anyway? They don't scare nobody. Yeah. This nigga just fought Vikings. Everybody. Yeah. Like, he, he don't care. Like, it's, it's over. Like, fear is not an option right. anymore. So, that's where she is, though. That's when they open the door. So, they open the door. I don't know what happened to Yosu Lady, but she gets put out of commission. She gets hit in the head and back of the head by the little girl. She okay. gets smacked in the back of the head. Um, But Miss Clairvoyant comes in. Well, she her, runs in. I need ability. the fire. She yeah. says, I, run, I need the fire. And he was like, and he pushed her away. Like, he almost was about to not do it. Like, yeah. he was about to be like, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. We have to say that, too. Because he. But, uh, he tells uh, Chris Evans to come up into the engine for him. Yeah. And that's where it's really quiet. He goes, when's the last time you've been alone? Like, have you ever yeah. had a second alone yeah. for a long time? He, he was goes, trying to get all his... Yeah. Like, and he, was worked, trying to, he was trying to get his, like, man shit yeah. and his emotions and, like, you know, every, everybody, needs, everybody needs this. He's like, you, you, you worked need, your whole life yeah, for this. Like, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Gilliam wanted this like, for fuck, you. He was, he, was, he was kissing his yeah. ass for it. But he was like, Gilliam wanted this for you. This was the whole plan was for you to do this. Yeah. Like, this is your destiny. Yeah. But he was explaining to him, it has to go this way. There is no yeah. other way. You said you have to run work. it the same you way. You have to run it the same way. And is that where the daughter 
picks out, picks the boy she, out. Well, yeah, then she goes, then she's like, she gets that spidey sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they lift the floorboard, and there's little Timmy. Little Timmy. And he's doing this, you know, type thing. He's and, pretty and much, he's pretty much the other tool because right after that, what it was like, well, you know, this, this engine, the engine lasts forever, but, basically, you know, unfortunately, it, you got to keep up with it. Right. And a tool that, that does that is recently went extinct. Right. And, only a really small person could fit in there. Yeah, five year old usually. So like he was, he wasn't picking those kids for nothing else. And I thought they was doing something different, but I knew they were doing something. Yeah, they're keeping but I the never engine thought going. That. So Timmy, it looked like Timmy's cleaning out the engine. It looked like. <clears throat> but remember, like the that. kids, and then the kids were just like the guy in the food place in in the uh, protein. Yeah, they were brainwashed. Just brainwashed. They weren't responding. So that's where Chris Evans like, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I, I can't do that to kids. So he gives the girl the fire. They go, and uh, Chris Evans wants to get Timmy out. So he. He sacrificed his arm for the first time. That's where he finally yeah. did that. That's what I was saying. The subliminal. They yeah, because there was like something like spinning. There were like gears. It's a bunch of gears. And he and, had to put his arm in there. Yeah, and Timmy, and Timmy wasn't coming up. Timmy yeah. wasn't even looking. He was just like. Well, he couldn't come up with those gears going. No, but Timmy know? didn't even look at it. Yeah, he well, he, he did a little bit when they first yeah. opened it. I like guess. when they first yeah. opened, he was like. But he fuck? kept doing his job, okay. like you said. But after that initial look at him, bro, he never looked away. Like he's yeah. like Timmy, come on. Yeah. Timmy's like, gotta get this going, and then like. He broke some of the engine, and the other little boy he's, came out another fucking yeah, compartment. Yeah, well, he stuck, his, he stuck his arm in there, and the, the fucking thing the was literally... The gear caught his shit. Yeah, it, like, so he was breaking it, so then they could pull Timmy out. But, the, yeah, that fucked up the engine, because it's stopping the engine from moving. Nam kills Terminator. I don't remember how he, he kills him. He throws him over the thing. Throws him over and the they, thing. They get, he gets crushed. Uh, he finally gets to blow up the dope. Train blows up, bro, but it's it fucks up everything. But that was cool, because what happened was... The Korean guy and Chris Evans probably knew that was going to happen, but what they no. did was they, oh yeah, and they put the the really furry jackets on on, on the little girl and on the uh, on Timmy, yep. and then they both hug them to protect them. Yeah, yeah, and then it yeah. explodes. It explodes. Fucking train is fucked. But that avalanche though, man, that avalanche was a huge avalanche. It hit so many parts of that train, which like it's going to fuck just, up the train. The train it's, fucked. Was fucked. And that was such a crazy ending to do. Bro, just kill everybody. Everybody died. Uh, kill everybody. everybody died, and Every that's crazy. Just think of all those carts right, that you just saw. They're all yeah. like just nothing now. Everybody died. Everybody's gone. Only people that lives is Nam Nam Nam's daughter and Timmy. Um, and I thought this was dope. Yona, uh, Yana, Yana. Um, I thought this was dope because you know the thing, like Adam and the thing feel. crashes. They get out and that polar bear in the distance. You, you know, know what I thought I had when he was staring at that polar bear. The polar bear is about to eat him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Me too. I was like, Hell bro, that yeah. polar bear is probably I, he probably. Hungry. I guarantee he did. Hungry. He's probably like watching that train like one day. This train he is going to crash. I know he did. He ate him. <laughs> he ate him. Anyway, but that was the movie, guys. It was fire. Um, Another great one by Bong Joon-ho. I always want to call him Bong John ho Bong Joon-ho. I always, like, I always almost do that. Um, Shane, what is your overall? Overall. It's, it's definitely five puffs. It's, it's five puffs? Sure. It's five puffs? It's, I mean, he's like... It's, we got the five puff graphic coming soon. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do we it, We do. Though. But it, it's it's super subliminal. I can watch that movie a billion times, and it's still yeah. good. Like, it's 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 well done. Cinematography's good. Well, I'm definitely good. giving it a five puff um, all day long. It's just great all the way around. I think for Captain America, it was a dope-ass look. It wasn't, like, the best, the most developed. He didn't have to do a whole lot of acting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, but the parts, like, you know, the engine he, part, his acting was great. He did shit. perfect in what it was. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, he was just... He was still Captain America for real, yeah. but Captain Train America. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he was dingy. But so, that's it for us, guys. Um, leave a movie in the comments because we ain't made a decision yet. You know what I mean? We got like three days for we record again. But yeah, we out. Let us know what's up. Sugar Shane, you got anything else to say? Nope, that's it. Man, nobody cares, bro. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs> You can sit back cause I got this on lockdown I'm hard to see like the Loch Ness Tryna stop me you will drown B -b -b Bottle love, liquor, pour it down Break the weed up, break it, rattle down Code they gave a nine from a different realm Sent to the shadows with booty dolls and a curse bell